Oh my god, I am so broke. <sighs> oh, it's awesome, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I just checked my bank account and uh, it's not looking great because I just spent $5,000 on a drone. Drone flying was supposed to be like a hobby. It's like my pandemic hobby. I feel like everybody had a pandemic hobby. Mine was drone flying. Just like most people in this generation, I turned hobby into a monetization work thing. I don't regret it, but man, it is expensive. Anyway, this is a drone that I just got in the mail. Oh, oh my god, it's actually heavy. Oh, okay, this is actually pretty heavy. This is the Mavic 3 Cine Edition from DJI. It's a long overdue upgrade from the Mavic 2. Let's open it up and see why this thing is worth $5,000. So there are three different versions of this. This is the Cine Edition. So there's a bag inside the bag. Mm, it smells like plastic smell. Not gonna lie. I actually like that smell. It's like new book smell. If you like new book smell, you can buy $5,000, buy a drone just to get that new book smell. So with the DJI Mavic 3 Cine Edition, it comes with this convertible bag. It is obviously a, you know, a side bag that you can swing around, carry it like a briefcase, but it also turns into a backpack, which is quite interesting. I, of course, haven't tried it yet. I just got this, but I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside and how it can turn into a backpack later. Ooh, this is a metal, you hear that? This is a metal clip. Okay, that's a nice touch. So this is actually a very quality bag in here. First thing we got is a black box that does not contain flight information, but it is actually a quick start guide. I think this is a battery charger dock, a fast data transfer cable, more cables, props, the controller sticks, and two of this, which I don't know what it is yet. We'll see, I'll open it up in a second. We got the drone itself, battery number one, battery number two, pouch here that has, of course, silica gel. Do not eat this. Okay, there is a charger. A USB prong. It does have a dedicated USB-C into here, but you have a USB-B as well. You can use it to plug into another cable. There is the controller, the new DJI RC Pro. It's still quite hefty. I feel like there's something in here. Oh, okay. So this is where it has a backpack strap that I can use to turn this into a backpack. So if I close this back up over here, voila. So it does turn it into a backpack so I can actually wear it like a backpack like this, which is actually a pretty cool design. Like I say, sling bag and a backpack design. I actually give them props for making this a pretty cool backpack design. I put stuff in here as well. This is great, but of course, this is not why it costs five thousand dollars. It is nice to have this to help me, you know, carry my drone. I hope this is not the main reason for it to carry five thousand. Oh, it does actually give me a little instruction guide here that tells me that it can turn into three different bags, but doesn't tell me how. But we're gonna put this aside right now because this is not our main focus today. Our main focus is, of course, this guy. This is the DJI Mavic Three Cine Edition. So the main difference between the Cine Edition and the Normal editions, uh, the standard one, which is, I think it's about like 2200, is that it can shoot in 4K ProRes. I think that is the main difference of this. So it's more of a software than the hardware. The hardware itself is not too much of a difference. The drone is the same, you can fly it for 46 minutes. This one does have a one terabyte hard drive, while the standard edition, I think it's only eight gigabytes. Since they both can be used micro SD card, insert in it, I don't think that is such a big deal for it. I know they're advertising like, ooh, one terabyte, because you definitely need it when you're shooting HD ProRes. That is the major difference between the standard edition and the Cine editions. Of course, the standard edition does not come with you know, the two extra batteries and the bag as well. The Fly More edition does come with the batteries, not this controller either, but it, it does come with the bag, batteries, the drone does not show in ProRes. The Cine edition, it does, and this is why it costs $5,000. I'm not mad at it, I, I totally get it. It's very similar to like buying a Tesla, 
where you can buy the standard edition Tesla, but if you want all these softwares that goes with the car to make it better and much more enjoyable, uh, you do need to buy a lot of software upgrades. It feels kind of weird because I am paying more for software than hardware. It is 2021, so I'm not 100% mad at it. I get it. It's just very expensive, but I get it. There's a lot of hype about this drone. I hope it lives up to expectations. Oh, also, I just remember, these two boxes that I have here, I believe they are Andy filters. You know, let me open them up. The standard edition doesn't come with any Andy filter. The Fly More, I think, comes with 4, 8, 16, and... 32, I believe. Sin Edition has even higher level of Andy filters. So there's two of them, two pack. So let's open this up. Yep, these are Andy filter. So this box. All right, so these are the additional one. This is the 64, 128, 256, and 512. This should be the, yep, 481632. Let me open up this drone real quick. So for lots of people who are just getting into drone, this is not a beginner drone, definitely. This is a drone that's are for professional who are doing this either for work or someone that's really enthusiastic about drone because it's quite expensive and also is a little bit bigger than what most people would like. Speaking of size, actually, let me let me show you this. This is the DJI FPV drone that I've been using for a lot of my videos and I've made a whole video about this as well. This is a very fun drone. Highly suggest it, highly recommend it if you want to first start out flying drone for funsy because the experience is really great. Both this one and also this guy, the DJI Air 2S. This one's great if you want to, you know, get some great video shots. This one's great if you want to experience flying in the air, especially like a first person view using the goggle. But if you can see compared to size, this one is actually a little bit bigger than the, the Air 2S. It's a bit smaller than the Mavic 3. I want to say it's by a lot, but in drone world, I guess it's a lot bigger. It's definitely smaller than the FPV. Like I can put the FPV over these two drones and it's still kind of, you know, wider than both drones combined. But that's because you cannot collapse the wings for this drone. So it comes with this little magnet thing where you can just close it and clip on it very easily. It's like a little harness that you have for the drone. You go around it and then you all the way around. Voila, this is the harness, and this is the drone itself. All right, so here's the drone, and this is where I can actually put on an Andy filter. The great thing is that it's actually already come with a clean filter, where you just turn it counterclockwise, and it comes off, and then you could just pick the one that you want. Let's say I want a Andy 4 with it. What I have to do is put it back on, this, and turn it clockwise, and it will lock in place. There we go, ta-da. Perfect, first try. There are two sets of filters, you know, ranging from four to 512. So depending on, you know, what is your lighting conditions, you might be able to find one that is perfect for what you need. All right, now let's expand the arms to see how big it actually looks. So whoop, 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 and whoop. Great, and this is a machine that has a lot of camera sensor on it already. As you can tell, there are multiple sensors that help it do avoidance for you know any crashes to avoid them. And I know that it's a lot better than any other drones out there. So I'm very excited to see how it will perform out there. I'm not gonna push it to the limit. I know a lot of people have tried that and they might have crashed their drones. It's a great feature for safety. It's not for you to really crash test it. That's not the point of it. But this actually feel pretty massive you know Let, let's compare that to my fpv drone again i don't have a battery on this yet but now once expanded it's definitely a lot bigger than my fpv drone it just feels like a small boat versus a cruise ship a giant cruise and if i compare that with my air 2s this is gonna feel even smaller like look at this it's like a little toy compared to it now I am super excited to take it out for a test run. Let's do it.
All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time watching this video. I had a great time shooting this video because the quality of this is just amazing. DJI did a good job as usual. You know, I'm not surprised at all at that part. I think I'm gonna like get so much like cool traveling shots or landscape shoots with this. It's just gonna be so exciting to play with this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and you know, share this with your friends if you like. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Let's go wings. Let's let's, let's restart this. Uh, wings? No, they're just all... Are they called wings? I don't know what the word for it. Definitely more smaller, more small, in the filter. And I believe they are magnetic. So if you want, you could just slap it on. But maybe they're not magnetic. I was wrong. Am I doing something wrong? Pause. Let, 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 me, let me look this up. <laughs> oh. I'm paused. Okay, I got this. I got this. I don't know how to do this. Pew, 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 pew. There's no battery at all. All right. Peace.